I was adjusting the screen here a little bit. Let's see. There we go. Mm. <laughs> All right, what's going on here besides a uh, sneezing cat? <laughs> okay. We've got a new guy on the Cowboys defense. Um, this name might sound familiar. Greg Hardy. He used to play for the Carolina Panthers. He got himself into some legal trouble involving domestic violence. I'm not going to get into the whole thing because it's pretty detail-oriented. I really don't want to get into it. But if you if you know about it, then yeah. But we signed him to a one-year, 13, 13 plus million dollar contract. It's it's a very incentive-laced contract. I mean, incentives from top to bottom. Basically, what this contract is is he needs to be a good little boy. He needs to behave himself. Don't get in any trouble for any reason. Don't beat anybody up. Don't get in trouble beating somebody up while drunk, whatever. Just don't do anything remotely stupid. That's pretty much what it is. Now, what does he do? Now, we didn't really have a dominant pass rush. Pass rush. Easy for me to say. We did not have a dominant pass rush on the defense, and he provides that dominant pass rusher that we haven't had in a really long time. He did really well in Carolina. He was one of the, that team's leaders in sacks. So, And he's a really good defensive player. He just had one legal issue that put him in that glaring spotlight when it was focused on domestic violence, him and Ray Rice and, you know, all of that stuff. But... From what I've heard, this dude, who's called the Kraken, you know, like the creature in Clash of the Titans, release the Kraken. He's known as the Kraken. He is a beast out there. I mean, he's he's tough, he's strong, he's relentless. I mean, even Shango th thinks this guy is awesome, so. I'm willing to give him a chance. I just hope he just doesn't do anything dumb. That's it. Because, you know, if he doesn't do anything stupid, then maybe we might keep him for a little longer, sign him to a new, um, lengthier contract. We'll see what happens, but, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy that he's there. We'll just, I'll just take a wait-and-see approach, but, like I said, I hope he does good, does good. so uh, that's going to be it. See you folks soon in another video. Later.